Hello there, and thank you for coming by the Ramsey channel. In this video, I am making by a, uh, I'm making this as a special request video. And I don't do special request videos, and I don't do bookshelf tour videos <laughs> anymore either. But, uh, one of the few people that could persuade me to do something like this is a, uh, channel called Clean Family Videos. And, uh, I got a request from him to show these vintage paperbacks uh, that I have. And yeah, dude, I'll do it for you, nobody else. Um, and this is by no means all of them. I'm so damn lazy that uh, this is this is all I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go digging through boxes and stuff of things that are boxed up, but I did happen to remember that I've still got these out convenient. Um, we got a paperback of the movie tie-in version there, the Amityville Horror. And here's Amityville Horror 2. This is one of those kind, I think. No, it's not. Originally, this was one of those that had one of the, what you'd call like a double cover or whatever, but that one doesn't. There's Amityville, the final chapter. And here is, if I can get the son of a bitch back in there. Well, I can't, so fuck it. There. Amityville, The Evil Escapes. Hellcat, Amanda Kingsley. I read this. I don't remember if I liked it or not. Evil by somebody named Richard O'Brien. I don't think it's the same Richard O'Brien who's responsible for Rocky Horror Picture Show and Night Treatment, though. Uh, as I remember, I liked that book. Night Blood by Eric Flanders. I don't remember too much about that one. It's been a long time. The Farm, that's another one that I don't remember too much about. Um, Evil Harvest, as I remember, I kind of liked that one. The Attraction by Douglas Clegg, I remember, I think I liked that one as well. Um, Richard Lehman's Darkness Tellus, I don't think. No, I, I did end up liking that one. If I remember, that one was kind of kinky, too. Uh, Bentley Little's The Revelation, which was pretty good. Uh, Hollow's Eve, a Halloween-themed uh, novel that I remember really enjoying. Here's uh, several by an author that I used to read a lot. Now, he's passed away since then. He wrote all kinds of books. Uh, did uh, His name's William W. Johnstone. And he did all sorts of, uh, lots of westerns, lots of men's action adventure for this outfit named Zebra that I believe there. I don't believe that's an active imprint anymore. I could be wrong. But I believe they've folded up shop. They were part of, uh, I think they were part of Kensington Publishing. But anyway, uh, this is a bit of a series that Johnstone did. This is the first one in the series, The Devil's Kiss. The Devil's Heart, The Devil's Touch, The Devil's Cat. Uh, a lot of these old Zebra Pinnacle ones had the holographic uh, images on the cover, too. Not sure how this one's showing up, but it's a cat, and his face switches into a devil. This is back when books still had cool cover artwork on them. Um, another William Johnstone, The Devil's Laughter. Another Johnstone, The Uninvited. Here's another Johnstone, Cat's Cradle. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? And as I remember, I actually really like this book. Cat's Eye. Another William W. Johnstone. Um, this one has uh, nothing to do with the uh, Stephen King anthology film, by the way. But it's pretty cool, huh? I love the cover artwork on these. And no, we're not having supernatural orbs in here. It's just that I've got the light on on this camera because I'm up here in a dark attic. Uh, and uh, it's dusty. Don't Touch That Dial Horror Show by an author named David Dark. And I don't remember much about this one. I read it, but I don't remember much about it. Night Touch, I do remember. 
uh, author Stephen Grisham. And this one I absolutely remember loving. I couldn't describe the plot to you anymore. It's been a good 20 or 30 years since I've read some of these. Uh, so I can't tell you that I remember them distinctly, but I remember this was one that I actually really, really liked. Um, Flesh Eater. No Flesh Stealer, that is. Don't remember much about it. Nightscape. Good Lord, look at some of these covers. I'll tell you what, they really, uh, they, re they really knew how to draw you in with these covers. I mean, if you're looking for a horror novel and you see that sitting on a bookstore shelf, chances are you're going to grab it. Here's what I do still remember, and this one kind of creeped me out, and I really liked it. It had a funny sense of humor about it, too. Good Night Moom. Not Good Night Moon, but uh, Good Night Moom. And this, this one is a blast. Uh, the good old Club Obsession Club. I love this one. Uh... Blood Dreams, another one by the same author, uh, Jack McLean. Don't remember this one really too well. Dark Song, I remember. This is the Haunted Radio, and I remember that I absolutely loved this book. This was really a first-rate horror novel, I, thought, I think. All these, of course, are out of print now. You're not going to find these things. if You'll have to go to a bookstore that's got used books, like a half-priced book or some, books or something or on eBay, you can probably find these. Uh, they're not going to be in the pristine condition that I've kept mine in. I'm not one of these spine breakers uh, who takes a paperback book and just literally busts the spine on it and opens it all the way up. About like this is probably as much as you'll ever see me open a paperback, and that preserves the spine on them, and that's why my paperbacks look, you know, like they're still in reasonably new shape. Uh, Nightstone. This is a Rick Hoddle, and I remember I liked that. Another holographic one there. Goes from the little girl face to a spooky skeleton face. Why not? Uh, is this Andrew Nader? Yeah, this is an Andrew Naderman. He's pretty good. Uh, teacher's Pet. Don't remember specifically what this one was about, but I know I've got several Andrew Niedermans around here, and I enjoyed it. So we're at the end of that shelf, and uh, I'll pause this and get to another shelf of these. Okay, then. Next shelf. Uh, let's see. What's this one? That's another William W. Johnstone, The Initiation. Don't remember much about it. I used to have another book of his, and I it may be packed away, or maybe I've lost it, or whatever. It was called The Sanction, and it had a very similar cover to that. Um, Sweet Revenge. I think this is probably from Zebra. Yeah, that's a zebra. Um, here's one of my favorite horror novels of all time, and this one I remember very well because I've read it many times. Uh, this is The Sibling by Adam Hall. Uh, this was published by Playboy Books when Playboy had a book division. And it's a first-rate horror novel, and I don't think it's ever been republished by anyone else. Uh, there's the interior of it. It's the old Rafe Stewie Vescent there filling up some little presents for his sister. Great novel. If you run across a copy of it, grab it, buy it, read it. You'll like it. Um... Uh, what do we got here? We got some Howling novels. The original Howling by Gary Brandner. I think gets his name. Gary Brandner. Is that who writes these? Yeah, Gary Brandner. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Howling 2. Howling 3. Well, there's a the paperback of Frankenstein. And this is in the wrong place. It doesn't go there, but it was a great book. Richard, uh, Richard Box. Illusions, The Adventures of a Reluctant Messiah. Um, I I read this and remember absolutely nothing about it. Tim LeBron, The Everlasting. Couldn't tell you what it's about. Uh, the Devil's Auction. I can't remember the specifics too much, but I remember that I actually really, really liked it. Don't remember too much about this one. But I did like it. One of these days, maybe I'll reread re some of these again. There's a paperback of The Exorcist, for heaven's sake. I have no idea why there's one single John Saul Blackstone Chronicles part up here. Um, Sins of the Flesh. Uh, as I remember, this was a pretty creepy one. It's got a monster here behind the door. How'd you like to have that thing coming out of your bedroom closet in the middle of the night? 
Yiko. Scary dude. Uh, this one, I believe, was a Bigfoot book. Actually, if I remember right, this is the monster in that was actually like a Bigfoot. Love the cover on this one, and since I'm a pianist, this one absolutely thrilled me. This is by William W. Johnston and Joseph Keane, Baby Grand. And yes, it's about a haunted piano. And uh, it's as stupid and goofy as you would expect it to be, and it's a boatload of fun. And I really loved it. And the piano itself, as I remember in this, had quite a sense of humor. But yeah, we had a haunted radio, and now we've got a haunted grand piano. And I love the cover there. Uh, Toy Cemetery, another John Stone. As I remember, I really liked this one a lot. I like that cover, too. Watchers in the Woods, that's another one of the John Stones. It has nothing to do with Watcher in the Woods, which was a film that Disney put out. Them by William W. Johnson. I really, really ended up lo loving this book. This is one that I do remember pretty vividly and liked it a lot. Wolfsbane. Look at the cover on that one. Bloodland. Don't remember much about that. William Johnstone's Bats. If I remember, I really like Bats. Hunted, I don't remember too much about. I don't think I liked it. Yeah. Couldn't tell you character names or the plot or anything, but I remember that this was a book that I actually was bored with. Uh, the Tower, I remember. I, I think I liked this one, actually. Rockabilly Hell. This one was kind of funny. We got Rockabilly Hell. And it also has a mate book over here, which I'll just check it out. Rockabilly Limbo. How's that? Pretty cool, huh? Oh, what's next? The Unholy Smile. Yeah, I remember this one, too. Look at that guy. Yikes. Boy, they had some wild covers. Let's see. We've got a little uh, Lovecraft section here. I don't know why I hang on to these things. I should give these to somebody else and let them read them. Because I've got more copies of these books. Hard covers and leather bounds and all kinds of stuff. But I've still got all these Lovecraft paperbacks as well. Which I, I do dearly love them. Another Johnstone Ordeal. Night Mask, because I remember I actually really liked this one here. And uh, Darkly the Thunder. I remember this one, too. And I absolutely loved that. So anyway, there's two shelves of horror paperbacks for you. And um, I'm so lazy, that's probably all I'll do. I've got a lot of these horror paperbacks around. Uh, a lot of them are put away in, uh, in boxes and stuff. And I had to unload everything that was in the front on these shelves up here in this attic um, to get to these back here because I did remember where these were. Um, and uh, there's some of the stuff that usually goes on the front of that shelf. And there's Toby the Cat who, uh, along with myself, thanks you for watching this and for indulging me in a trip to the attic to look at some uh, scary old books. So thank you for watching. I'll see you on another one again real soon. Bye.